What's up all my kaiju friends and fans, Phil the Kaiju King back. Gonna do a few videos here. Start off with this guy, it's the Funko Pop series. Mecha Godzilla number 1564. This is the package he came in. He has an Entertainment Earth exclusive, limited edition. It's nice little art stylings on the back of the box here with Mecha Godzilla. All right, we'll move on to the star of the show, the Funko Pop series number 1564 Mecha Godzilla. All right, everyone, I'm back, and here it is, the Funko Pop number 1564 Mecha Godzilla. This is the classic Mecha Godzilla, the terror of the Showa era. To me, I've said this before, and I always believe in it. To me, for me, this is Godzilla's arch enemy. I know it's Ghidorah, but for me. This is Godzilla's arch enemy. It's because of looking in 1974 what he literally did to Godzilla. He about killed him. Ghidorah had never put no kind of whooping on Godzilla like this guy has over the years. My opinion. Pretty awesome little figure here. P Funko Pops. I thought I could get away from him, but I just... Funko Pop, I can't let you go. <laughs> it's a pretty cool little neat little figure. Looks like classic, you know, 74 Mecha Godzilla. As far as Mecha Godzilla through the years, you know, he's been in several movies, but I would rank him 74 1, 74 7, Showa Era 1, Monsterverse 2, Millennium 3, Heisei 4. That's how I would rank, how I like them. I like this one and the Monsterverse one was really cool looking I thought and I thought they did a honorable thing with him in that movie and Godzilla vs. Kong. Take a quick little look. His little tail goes down and curves off to his right. I figured it'd go, you know, straight back but so I got it out of the package and seen. Look at his little feet, his little hands. Nice little bolts all over his body. Nice silver color. Looks good. There's his little DPs on the back. Dorsal plates. He's even got the little MG right there. Just noticed. That's pretty cool. Here's his chest plate where his chest laser is. It opens up in the movie. Pretty cool. They got the little MG on it. Just just nice little details. Got his... I agree, I, Ag aggravate ag ag <laughs> bleh, I can't talk his deep eyebrow there his pointing uh, nostril nose is there little metal teeth in his mouth Funko Pop style eyes uh, yellow in color which is what Mechagodzilla's eyes were it's a pretty neat little looking little old pop here not too bad we'll do comparison with him here and let's do that now when I'm back and here is a uh, Funko Pop Mechagodzilla alongside my U2's Kong 2024 wearing his beast glove I'll do one more comparison let's do that now all right, everyone, and here is my Funko Pop Mechagodzilla alongside my X Plus D4 series uh, Jet Jaguar there. All right, I'll move on to some uh, quick final thoughts. Let's do that now. Back, Funko Pop series number 1564. Mechagodzilla, classic Showa Mechagodzilla, the best one in my opinion. I love Mechagodzilla, he's my favorite Godzilla. He's my, he's not my favorite enemy because that's a Gigan, but he is my best adversary for Godzilla because he gives Godzilla the biggest fights in my opinion. Over If you look through the movies, he's whipped Godzilla more than any other monster. For my two cents he just always puts it on him pretty neat little funko pop here 
All right, everyone, I'll close off this here video. I want to thank everyone who tunes in. This is Phil the Kaiju King. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.